Uh, yeah, looking forward to some possible wet weather, Shay, possible rain to help out those fire crews. I know. Yeah, we do have a chance for some isolated storms this afternoon and tonight as well. In fact, it looks like the bulk of the activity based off the latest model runs showing uh, most of that activity moving in later on tonight. So I'll take you through your future cast coming up. We'll have more opportunities over the next couple of days for some storms as well. Temps will remain below average today and tomorrow with highs in the upper 90s for the warmest places. So at least we're catching a break from the triple digits, but they'll return. Perfect timing for the 4th of July weekend. Going to get pretty hot, so I'll show you that in your 7-day. Today's highs, upper 90s for the most part. Some spots like Sorita, for example, will be in the mid-90s. Same thing for Vail. Overnight lows tonight in the upper 60s and low 70s with some isolated storms later on today and tonight. West-southwest wind at only 5 to 10 miles per hour, so a lot better compared to the last few days. Uh, maybe a little bit higher for places like Mount Lemon, the higher elevations up to 15 to 20, but still a lot better than uh, the last few days. Today's highs to the south and east, mainly in the 80s and low 90s, so still pretty comfortable all across the board. Looks like the best uh, chance for storms today will be to the south and east of Tucson. Closer to the international border you live, the better opportunity you have. For your future cast, as we head towards 11 a.m. this morning, we could start to see some activity as early as then. Some uh, isolated showers for areas in Cochise County, kind of a little scattered towards 4 p.m. Couple isolated showers potentially in Tucson at this time. But notice as we head towards later on tonight, looks like that's when the bulk of the activity will make its way into southern Arizona. Some heavy rain will be possible, some lightning, and any uh, thunderstorms that do develop could produce some gusty outflows as well. By 5 a.m. in the morning, we could see some lingering showers so wake up with us right here tomorrow 24 hours from now and maybe we'll have a little bit of rain on the board when it comes to how much rainfall we could pick up it looks like the highest amounts will be for our friends in Sierra Vista potentially uh, maybe uh, just under a quarter of an inch a few hundredths of an inch pretty much everywhere else here in Tucson we're not registering anything at this point but of course that could change so we'll keep you updated be sure to enter into our monsoon master contest the deadline to enter is September 15th and all we want you to do is guess how much rainfall we're going to see at the Tucson International Airport through the monsoon, so be sure to submit your answers. The first prize is brought to you by Bio One, and the grand prize is a COVID cleanup and getaway package valued at $6,500. Second prize is brought to you by America's Best Roofing, and the prize is a flat roof coating valued at $3,000. Seven day forecast now, upper 90s next couple of days, low triple digits as we head towards Saturday, Sunday being the hottest day. 